quite a late night yesterday. I think we came back home at uh, half past two or something like this. Yeah, it was great to see the guys, you know, they're a lovely young couple and now they have this awesome kid. I'm on my way to, um, to the bus station. I'm heading to Brussels, to Belgium today. I gotta be honest, uh, skateboarding with uh, two backpacks uh, with a total weight of about, I don't know, 25, 30 kilos is not the e easiest task. All right, I'm in Brussels. The only reason why I'm here is uh, because all the routes to Bruges or Brugge were way, way, way too long. So I decided I don't want to spend the entire day on the road. So why not just see the city on the way and then go to Bruges tomorrow. It's really easy from here. So I have no idea what the city is about. I have no idea what I can see here. And I have no idea how it works, uh, whether there is a subway or take some kind of tram there's some kind of a Saturday market going on but I'm not gonna be walking around here it was so funny I tried to buy the tickets but I couldn't find the station uh, in the system of the automatic machine so I asked the lady who works here she can help me and she's like where do you want to go and I was like oh, the station is called Gare du Midi or Zuid station and she's like oh you have to check for this and then she checks and it's not there and there's oh you just check for Russell Zuid it's the same and I'm like huh Great to know. I got the ticket and apparently I can use it for the whole day. I don't think I need it to be honest, because I'm gonna be skateboarding around, but still. So apparently, uh, Gare du Midi, Brussel Midi, Zuid Station, and Brussel Zuid all refer to the same place. So that's not, that's not confusing at all. Well, this is a nice bonus. It is a hostel, so it is a dorm, but it seems like uh, there's no one here. I don't know if we will stay this way. This might be a bit of a weird choice of the first thing that I'm gonna do here in uh, Brussels. I'm gonna go watch the FA Cup final between Manchester United and Manchester City. Not a great game that was, uh, but uh, a very, very warm place. There were so many people in, it was difficult to breathe. Belgium, uh, both the waffles and the architecture is very, very impressive. I was taking pictures just now, uh, just on the street, there was this really nice straight line uh, with the tram lines. I was waiting for someone to cross and there was this group of young people and they saw me. Somehow they figured out what they had to do and I uh, just posed a bit for the photo. Looks like it's Nice photo, I don't know, I haven't seen it on computer yet. We exchanged the uh, Instagram thing, so I'm gonna send it to them when I'm done. I guess this is where uh, people in Belgium uh, go out to have some fun when the weather is nice. Just a uh, park in front of the Grand Palace and uh, it's buzzing. So many people. Honestly, I would say that uh, Brussels uh, is a really, really beautiful city. This uh, old center where all of the most famous buildings are, amazing architecture. I think uh, for people who are very much into that, they would love, love to visit this place.
even though the sun is uh, still up a bit, uh, but it's already 9 p.m., I think it's better for me to get some energy and uh, feel more refreshed in the morning. Uh, I can walk around and enjoy it maybe even more in the morning. So I'm gonna save some energy, gonna go to bed earlier and uh, continue tomorrow.